original ending of Rogue One kind of sucked. Gary Whitta, screenwriter for Rogue One, recently told EW that the original ending of Rogue One was vastly different than the one we saw in theaters in December. Even though it was their original instinct to have all the heroes die at the end, they worried that it would be too dark for Disney, so they did a much different script in the very beginning. So in their first script, there was no Rook, Emway, or Malbus. Jin, instead of being a street criminal recruited by the Rebellion, was actually an enlisted rebel soldier. There are even some toys floating around that say Sergeant Jin Urso because they were already in production before the story change. In the original, Jin still commanded a strike force and had K2SO and Cassian, though he had a different name. The biggest difference was everyone just didn't fucking die in the end though there were still lots of deaths on both sides, even in the early script. In the original Jin and the character that is Cassian but wasn't called Cassian in that version, make it off the planet when a rebel ship comes down and gets them. They then jump away and later Leia's ship comes to help them and the ship-to-ship -ship data transfer happens well away from Scarif. Darth Vader, still pursuing them, attacks Jin's shuttle as the rebels try to transfer the information to Leia's vessel, and then finally Vader destroys the craft. As Vader goes after Leia's ship that begins A New Hope, they focus in on the debris floating in space to see Jin and Cassian got into an escape pod just in time. Obviously, since that ending is absolute trash, after writing that script and then another draft, they realized, yeah, the heroes just need to die at the end, and they began to fight for the ending that they wanted. After talking to Disney and Lucasfilm and saying, hey, to make a better story, to make a great story, they need to die at the end. They were finally given the green light by Kathleen Kennedy and others and told, make the ending that you want. Thank God. And there are actually two other alternate endings that I'm really happy they didn't go with, and I want to briefly share those with you. The first involved Jin and Cassian escaping Scarif on a rebel ship with the plans and Vader pursuing them. They can't shake him after multiple jumps and eventually take too much damage. On the last jump, they would try to get lost in traffic around Coruscant, but they realized they wouldn't make it. Luckily, they discover Leia's ship has taken off from Coruscant on its way to its diplomatic mission to Alderaan. And knowing she's secretly working for the Rebellion, they transmit the plans to her ship. Vader detects the transmission, which leads him to boarding Leia's ship. To prevent Vader from interrogating them and revealing the Rebellion's secrets, Jin and Cassian decide to blow up their own ship with them on it. In the second version, Cassian was originally a double agent and planted by the Empire into the Rebellion. As the mission goes on, he realizes that the Death Star is real, it's not propaganda, and it will be used for genocide. Believing himself to be on the wrong side, he switches to the side of the Rebellion. Here's the stupid part. They had a carbon freeze bomb on the ship, and Cassian forces them all into an airlock and sets off the bomb when Vader blows up the ship, freezing everyone. Since Vader's ship doesn't detect life signs, they assume they're all dead and go after Leia's ship. And they were going to leave the heroes out of the picture and explain the reason why they weren't in Empire or Jedi was because they were in carbon freeze in space. But what do you think? Would you have preferred any of those alternate endings instead of the one we got? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars videos.